No, uh, I'm just saying. Hey, Kim hey. and Kim and V might be cluttered it's because they're not in lobby in the lobby exactly. What? What? You can always uh, be in another channel of it. I'm not gonna talk. All right, all right. Can you guys check if this is uh, off? LGD just lost. LG oh. flash news report. LGD out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Guy, I'm banning you. <laughs> That's a lot of games. Two games. More games than oh. SIL. I can actually ban you. Oh, dude, I can. Oh my god. I can actually plug my Facebook after. Oh my god. Uh, we're in our casting couch. Oh. You better, you better not, Joe. I swear to God. What? What? You better not plug yourself. I swear to God. Just once, dude. <laughs> I don't even know the lyrics of that song. <laughs> Alright, so pull your play by play. I'm analysis. Who, who's here? Mirai. Mirai is for. Oh, I wanna, uh, I wanna Mirai is for. Mirai is for Mandarin translation. Games for Tagalog translation. Alright. Yo, Skull, be the play by play. Skull, be the play by play. No, I can't. I'm not good enough. You're not gonna provide analysis. You have to provide something. Okay. Five seconds remaining. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Group B second game. Redeemers versus Potom in the bottom. Is it really yeah. a second game? I mean second match. My bad, not second game. Second match. Game two. Shall we introduce our players? Before we introduce our players, let's introduce our casters for today. So I'm Crest. <laughs> Your resident coach of Omega Pi. That's right. And beside me is Polar Bear, Mirai, and is it Squall who's inside? Or yeah, yeah, Squall. And Squall, the forbidden one. <laughs> so this is brought to you live in Omega Pi's casting couch. All right. Oh, bottom in the bottom, banning the chin. Fear, fear of Sun Sun getting it. Uh, pop trash getting it. All right, so, so good news for you guys. These two teams are actually very, very close to us. Former players that played with us and against us. A few run is still in the pool though, and uh, we saw it last game. It's quite scary. They have to ban the Furion because most of Sonson's hero pool consists of Furion. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there, there, there you go. Jack Hero snap Jack Hero. Alright, Sonson. Very interesting. So I'm sorry, guys, we're gonna call Pop Trash Sonson a lot. You know. The Why drafter of Redeemers. Trash? Just like we, we call Squall Bad often. That's right. <laughs> I hate oh, you oh, I haven't I... seen that hero in a while. Yeah. Is it really good against Jakiro? I don't really think so. Well, this is really good. I, think, I, know, I, I think they they have some sort of strat. Maybe they want to set up one two like maybe Tinker Beastmaster something. You really think it's some sort of strat because they didn't yeah. snap pick it and they're not snap picking the Let's second. Let's remove my overlay first so you guys can see the fourth binds. Not bad. I mean, I I think they have some vision based hero that they really want to get for some reason. Haven't seen this hero though. Tusk, Beastmaster Tusk, the classic combo like three patches ago. And Redeemers are all inning on the win lane strat. And they banned the Timber Song. Classic. Alright, so we just see four heroes above 700 HP at level 1 in the first four picks. So the name of the game is High HP Pool. Radiant team ban. Oh, fear of Yase Morphling, the legendary Morphling Radiant player. 
the legendary uh, statement. Oracle, a meta ban. Then we're so probably a situational ban. So I guess we're looking for strength cores here. Melee or strength cores for the side of redeemers. I think they just banned Trimbersaw and Oracle so that uh, the tiny can kill someone. Like if they if you pick those two, tiny can't really go on and heal. Lycan, pot him in the bottom. Just acknowledging that redeemers are picking a lot of push heroes. Then they ban everything. Chen, Nature's Prophet, and Lycan. So Sorrow doing a lot of research. Uh, wait, is this Sorrow? No, no, it's not. It's no, bottom of the sorrow. bottom. I lost potato yeah. forest. So actually, there's a lot of research in this because Lycan is one of the more like one of the best heroes of Yase, just because you know, try to end it early. Do you, do you want to hear my Pepega 4K analysis right here? I see I see six auto chess units and one chess. So someone's no. asking us to introduce ourselves again. So once again, this is me, Crest, also known as Jong, coach of Omega Pi. Here beside me is Polar Bear, player of Omega Pi, Squall the Forbidden One, and Mirai's Muted. Yo, hi. <laughs> a giant oh, pig. Uh, May I, Mirai, a resident Chinese translator. So, you know. Mirai is also a player of Omega Pi. <laughs> also a player of Omega Pi. Please don't ban his What's hero. What's that good Both teams are going pretty much all in on winning lanes. lanes yeah. Right now, Potom in the bottom have the upper hand, I believe. Undying was a really but good pick. Can I just say, this oh, Undying pick actually pick. limits Potom in the bottom now with three melee heroes. That's like a dream for Jakiro. Three melee heroes. That's true. That's true. But also they still have an Undying. Undying is one of them. Also Tide Hunter. I feel like... Uh, I, how, what do you feel about this Tide pick? I don't really like it against Undying. Especially when you have a tiny 4. You never know if it's a 1 or a 3 or a 2. It's mostly 3, right? I mean, Chicken... We know Chicken and Yase doesn't play Tide. Come on. It's possible they are just looking for the to transition into a team fight lineup though. Like, like lose, lose lanes a little bit. The, the thing is, redeemers are showing their lanes compared to bottom in the bottom. Redeemers are actually flexing a lot of these heroes. All we know is that Jakiro might be uh, is the support. Tiny and Tide can still fit into any any lane in this That's situation. That's true. But Not based to mention on Naga, Siren is also a good pick here. Yeah, but you have to you have to realize that you know. Uh, Redeemers has the fourth pick, so they can adjust their lanes after Ooh, seeing. See, Huskar. Uh, I don't really like the... Huskar here. Right, so let's see how let's see how they'll react to this. This is not a pick you want against them. I really don't like that Huskar pick. Like mm. Bad dudes banning someone now. That's, uh, that's a good response. And also deals with all their melee here. Lane dominator. I don't like the Orsa here because you're playing into the the Tusk tag team, right? No, you're playing into their draft, like, like. So th this is literally just like you're responding. Pre to it, right? it's like a pre ten minute fist fight. Oh, when you have a like, Oscar, like yeah. bottom and the bottom is saying we're gonna we're gonna have a fist fight. Ten oh, minutes into a game. I like I like them snap picking Dazzle here. What do you think about that? I don't like Dazzle. Like stealing nope. the Dazzle. No, I don't like Dazzle. I don't like Dazzle either. Meepo. Oh, oh, chicken meepo. plays a lot of Meepo. Yeah. That's the chicken Meepo. Too much. I mean, two. Yeah, two series, two Meepo. Oh my god. Oh wait. Yeah, right. uh, we, we, pick we, Hushka, keep, we pick Meepo. We we keep calling him Chicken, but his name here actually is Grid. God. Okay, grid. Whatever. Inferno Pop Kunai trash. is that? Inf oh no, it's Kunal. Kunal says, "Of course, OPS casting RD. Of course, dude, we're gonna judge <laughs> <Of> our friends. <laughs> we're gonna play the shit out of them. Go on, you wanna make some drama, artificial one. <laughs> <laughs> so potential last picks for Potom in the bottom here. Personally, I'd say Elder Titan, but I uh, a lot of other heroes are still open. I guess like Ember." Still open. 
They really need something to deal with yeah, the Meeple yeah. now. Ember, oh, I guess they can... I think Ember is the, the clear-cut hero here because you can you just kite everyone else in this game. So, Konka, so they're moving this horse car into the safe lane and Konka mid? Sup, John. Uh, we're casting kicks. How do you feel about Kuka versus people? Okay. Let's hope. Shh. Kicks off. Quiet. What? Quiet. 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 We're casting. <laughs> All right. Special special guest <laughs> kicks off. <laughs> SIL mod. <laughs> Dead lead. All right. Keep yourself <laughs> muted. Keep yourself muted, <laughs> kicks off. I guess they just picked Kuka to just. Trash some meepo in the lane. Well, I, I don't really like Kirsch there actually called the the five strength hero strat. So, so good call here by Kirsch there. Calling out Calling. bottom in the bottom five what? strength hero. <laughs> Before the Before. Konka was even picked. Oh god. This lineup though. Meepo's gonna run over people right. if he has a good time. So, so, so some now, updates. Now it's a good time to introduce the players. <laughs> so, some updates. No, you introduce them when they walk in the yeah. river. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god, this guy. Oh, that's why you got banned, dude. That's right. <laughs> that's why you're bad, dude. <laughs> Mr. Inferno guy says hi, Mirai. Mirai, what's up? Inferno. Oh, what's up, man? Alright, right, Jong, introduce. So let's introduce your players for the side of Redeemers. We have Son Son on the Tide Hunter. Then Yase on the Ursa Chicken or Grid on the Meepo. Then we have Jet on the Tiny and Vanish on the Jakiro. How about you, Dire? Uh, Dire, how about Dire, Polar? Your turn. Uh, Slayer. Playing the Huskar, yeah, and then Kunkka is played by Lumi. Oh, Sujuan on that Tusk with the Ice Shards level one. Don't know about oh, that, sir. Interesting. Oh. And interesting. then Beastmaster played by Captain. Is that his name? That Captain his name. Poggers. Oh. No, it's Captain oh. Dot Poggers. Wow. Huh. And that Nexo is... on that Undying with the Sentry ready to D ward. Alright, so you guys gotta excuse me because I have the main camera for some weird ass reason, which shouldn't be me. Oh, here it's going on. The oh, Tide Hunter? Shards. Called the Tide Hunter, but they shouldn't have I the damage really, for this. Not sure about I should not one, but. Yes, it's gonna walk away. But they're gonna mm, get This is not a probably. good trade yeah, for them right, right now. Okay. Runes are three, uh, yeah, four runes on radiant. Oh, oh, four runes are die. on radiant. He's not careful. All right, so, so the viewers. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! You missed it. Everyone oh my god! I was watching god. bottom. Oh my god! Okay, so, so viewers, please give me your feedback on my camera work because I have no camera work. Dude. <laughs> it's terrible. It's sure. horrible, man. <laughs> All right, this Tus placing the ward to see the path that Tiny will take. Unfortunately, he's been spotted by the other ward, so they should know that he's down. I'm actually, yep. you know, you know, the thing is coding your camera. There's actually a code for camera that you have to do in console, which I don't have. I should ask yeah. Stinky for what? that. What you mean, smooth dragging? Yeah, yeah. How do you get? That? You have you can do it in the options. options. Go to options. And then advanced options. Advanced options, where is it? Smooth uh, drag camera with the spectating. Middle. There you yeah, go, smooth. I got it. It's not okay, smooth dragging! Oh my god, is no, it you have, to, you have to press the middle mouse wheel and then smooth drag it. Oh my god. This is such a hassle. Good lord, John. Yeah, right, you call so yourself a speed. Dead here at bottom. Is he? Oh, oh the decay? Mm. Undying is not dead. And top lane, Tiny is trying to skip wave. And he realizes that he doesn't have any TP castle, so he just TP up. While this Huskar is getting. Hmm. 
Dope. Oh, shorts for no reason. Oh, meanwhile, oh, bot lane. Double wave. A double wave in the midst of. Yeah, I see. Where... Trying to desperately deny that range creep. Not getting it. The Undying got Tombstone level 2. That is very questionable. And I do he's it. gonna die here. I do oh, it. He's not gonna die. There are situations where I do it. Oh, Ooh, that is not. You know, you know, there's a struggle because the, the, I told you a while ago the draft is. Oh, okay, I need oh. to do this. Dota toggle assisted camera. Okay, operator. What the? Then what do I press after that? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, the so Meepo trying to be efficient by farming the jungle camp and getting the. Oh, you can do that. Uh, Alright, they're going on top. Uh, the tiny is very deep in here. He may die from the burn. He has five stacks on him. And he gets Meepo. Is he gonna this die here? Is alive. Meepo alive. is not going to die. He doesn't have he a tide breaker. Six movement speed. I think he's gonna be fine. Wait, I need to fix the camera. And bottom, we gotta go on Jakiro. This Jakiro is super dead, ah, but he'll take fast. the Beastmaster no, with him. Coming. He should outrun the until the next. Oh, he saw the. He got a boot. He's right, a raging he Ursa. And that should be a double kill. Bottom lane not going so well. Meanwhile, top, top lane, Oscar died to the Tie Hunter. Ah, uh, every lane. Seems to be going the way of Radiant. Oh my oh, god! Oh my bad. Everyone is staying very aggressive as you described. I've... That's my you bad. Know, Oops. While, cast... while we're all casting this shit, Jong is probably missing everything. No, I have to fix my resolution. Apparently, Facebook and Twitch have different resolutions. My bad, guys! Woo! Yikes. That's me. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Finally. Obviously, I'm not a caster. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an analyst. Alright, roll oh, on the tiny at top. But the... Uh, oh, the tree! Oh, the tree oh. Room. <laughs> Is this Oscar? Nice. Might die here? Jet doesn't have mana. He has a lot of region. Oh, they don't like to die here. Mid and meanwhile, lane. bottom of uh, mid lane. Need just get solo there's, kill. There's too many That's action, right. I can't fix I my know. settings. You guys. I know, took too much damage from the Kunkai and the creeps. Top lane. Rune, top lane. Top lane. They should get a tide in the return queue. Alright, alright. They rotate So there's a downtime now. I can fix it now. I can fix it, right? I can fix it. Uh, I can't cast properly. <laughs> I can oh fix it. Oh my god. Alright, it looks like it looks like Dyer has given out on bottom. It's happening the fact that Ursa's gonna pre farm. Have you guys taken a look at the the Tuskus build? Oh, oh so. my god, the he has seven stacks on him. This Beastmaster is dead, he's just gonna dive him. Oh, oh and even with the tower. Man, right Polar, you should've been cameraman for this. What do you mean? I'm sh I should've been cameraman. <laughs> your, your fucking stream is just fucked, and you're the streamer. Alright, Tiny's checking runes. Is it fixed what? already? And, oh no, 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 you don't use the shots like that. Oh my god, it's not fixed. Meanwhile. The Jakiro is gonna die here. No, he's gonna outrun because Kunkka got slowed. Yeah, but he has a lot of stacks here. And that's an insane amount the of stacks. is really fast. But he doesn't have mana for overpower. But, but it does not matter. Yeah, it does not matter. This is a size. He's gonna pay his life, don't but but the, enrage. No, it's he's gonna get a return slow. kill. But Jakiro is gonna get caught out. Might get a return kill. Decay, another slow, but they reached the shrine and they don't want to chase there. And now when we look at the top lane, the Tidehunter is skipping creeps while the Tusk is still missing Attack team! The Tusk still doesn't attack team! That's what I was saying. Level 3! This guy, does he know? I think what he feels like, I think he's so what, he don't have to because of friendly shield. He knows. But it's not a valid reason. He's, he's being useless, oh my god. <laughs> We're just looking Maybe at. Maybe can block the creep. Is it gonna have free farm from here? Yep. The Tusk can't do much about it. He's gonna take on this damage. Yike. Also gonna get oh, the other it's, creep. There's a solo kill. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my Poggers god. Poggers from Sun Sun. Oh, 
Alright, check up. bot lane. Alright, this is an invis rune on the Undying, but he's just gonna watch oh his BM die, he can't oh, do it. This bear is very angry. Yes. So they're just oh, gonna take a free tower, uh, take a free vote. tombstone. And this is a Jakiro, not Jakiro, Tusk, that's coming out of nowhere. Shark is he gonna try for the shark block? A shark? Oh no. Oh, that's a really terrible mistake. That cost him, himself, and oh, his team oh, top, oh, lane. Oh, top lane. No. Top lane. Oh, scaling chase down by the Haska, but it doesn't seem they have the most speed to follow. Yes, uh, wind lace and boots. Your and stream is okay, Gashu said. Jong. Is it okay now? He. Gashu said right, it's top. okay. On the action. You got a ravage, do you want to use it? Meanwhile, Tidehunter is getting chased down by the Kunkka. He's finally sick of his sweet wave cutting shenanigans. And oh. But while well, that is happening, the tower kill. is gonna be gonna go down at mid. It's an easy tower. Oh, so what are your thoughts about these four raid bands built by Chicken or Grid? On his I've ball? seen it. I've seen it. But I've seen people do the slipper, the four slipper build. I think that's much better. Four slipper into two wraith ban uh, into a, a blink. I like that build better. But yeah, this build it, is it just really standard. Power and four ban. Really strong. Yeah, this is, Meepo is all right, all right. Definitely right the tiny. They really want to go on him. Tiny has no mana, no stick charges. So, so they're not getting a kill. Alright boys, so four, 5k lead for the side of Redeemers, 8 minutes into the game. So if you were bottom in the bottom right now, what should you be doing? Hold on, answer. Po oh my, my analyst is dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought you were gonna answer that. What? I, I, would just I just put... asked it, dude. Uh, you, if you are having this battle of a lane and two other lanes, you just focus on the top lane. Like top lane's uh, losing a little, a uh, little bit on the side of Radian, and then you try to take the tower. This tiny is sitting there with no mana whatsoever, and he shouldn't be able to do that. He should now, be hit by the X now, and the shit. So that him. should be a kill. With a shot. No. Oh, all right. Here's tag team now, so they should get this kill. And then you use this to transition that into a tower, while Beastmaster. Holds the bottom tower, and he has a TP ready, but no boots yet. That's a little concerning. Unfortunately, and redeemers realize this move. They they know that they so have to put top. everything on. They're going on. top. Top going on Haskar. Going to get tossed back. Really nice top. That should be the dead Haskar. Ravage. Oh, yeah, can use Ravage. Hit on two. Ravage in and. Uh, Task is regarding him. And they might dive the Undying too. No, they, they can't they dive. They might toss the... Oh wait, he doesn't have boots. Hit. He might toss the team hit. Oh no, they don't have vision. They, they just want the runes. They want the runes? They don't want the runes. Not right now. But Tiny is going to get it while the others take the tower. Oh, is gonna try for it, but he sees the Tiny and he... Gets right out of there. He knows where that is. He's one pull and dying. He hasn't had boost at 10 minutes in. And it's extremely painful to play. Conker, missing CS. Nice. You know, come on, dude. Don't judge them. them nice Alright, item song, song, check. <laughs> so, Tidehunter with the Vlads, Orsa with the face boots. Maedos and drum is really fast. Yeah, and going for that drums. Meepo with the four rate band strides into the ghost scepter. Tiny turning that into a e blade. Tiny with double bracer. Jakiro with arcane. This is very Autumn. interesting, but the tiny oh, bot lane. Beastmaster is oh. dead. Right. Beastmaster is just and dying on stop. Four levels down right. compared to the Ursa. Meanwhile, on the side of Dire, we have two bracers and face boots on the host car. Konka with the same build. Two bracers in the face boot. Uh, Tuscar with that orb of venom boots. Beastmaster still no Vlad, so usually you want that seven minutes into the game actually. But with those five, that's completely uh, acceptable. And undying. With the Do you show? Have you shown the net worth chart? No, on the oh. stream. I don't shit. think I should be showing that. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Boom down here. Oh. No net worth, like player net worth. But unfortunately, still in last shit. Is uh, 
Osai is Ursa, very deep. Osai is going deep. He wants the wall risk. He gets the wall risk. He should die here. Roar? He doesn't have No roar. X did Oh, the Konka has one in X. Three. X is level one. But you can have used the Torrent or a boot. Most likely you'll be Torrent. Oh no. That was a missed kill. That was a huge kill too. Alright, so let's take a look at net worth. So leading in net worth are Orsha and Meepo, followed by the Konka, then the Tidehunter, Hushkar, Tiny, Jakiro, then the Beastmaster, then both supports for Dire. So this Beastmaster actually is completely shut down. So let's see how he'll try to recover. Oh, Beastmaster is going to die here again. So they need to, they need to play off this Konka. This Konka needs to make a lot, lot of money. He's going on both. And with the Maybe Undyne running die. in, but unfortunately it just should be a turnaround. Nope, they don't want to go on the Kunka, they say he's too tanky. And he's out. It seems that the just don't have the catch for the Radiant. Yeah, right. Ravage. Oh, oh, Ravage. Ravage is on three people. They drop the tomb, but it's instantly too tanky. And back on and the back in for the second skill. Second and third kills. Where are these three people casting, by the way? Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna know. stop doing <laughs> We talked about this! <laughs> <laughs> we got no communication at first place. Uh, like I said, <laughs> Omega 5, <laughs> zero <laughs> communication. This is how our team is like, guys. I don't know why everyone is so this is scared of us. Except when I'm in the team, by the way. Except when I'm in the team. And I'm the only one talking, right? Yep. Oh, the Hatsuka here. They don't have catch on him. They shouldn't have catch in him. Ty Hunter is gonna die to the tower. Just tanking for hits. A buyback. Oh, poggers. And a huge boat. Oh, and really huge tie bringer and by the oh. oh, that's a huge buyback. Good hold there. Actually, the all this. From my boy, Redeem. They only Redeem bought back on the Tusk. They, yeah. they should be really happy about this. Oh, that's a 3,000 gold XP change. Even bigger on the XP. Alright, so who do and we blame for that? Just look at the damage on the Kunka. 4.8k damage by himself. Wow! A lot of damage. So who do we blame for that? I blame Yashi. I, 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 I blame all the cores. I blame all the cores. I blame Sonson actually. Right, take a look <laughs> at that four. net rate. So, Heading to that 15k net worth, then suddenly dipping back to that 9k, 10k mark. This is the first step towards winning the game for Dire, but right now, if the Radiants keep calm and then do it again without throwing this time, they should be fine right now. They're still very far ahead. 10k gold lead into the game, 15 minutes in, of the game, while securing yeah, two bounties, ahead. three, four bounties actually. They secure four, four bounties. Go for me. That's an 11k net worth, just like that. 1k. This is why bounty runes are important, guys. All right, Radiance looking towards Roshan. Yes, but Yase is on the other side of the map farming as usual. <laughs> Even yes, on the one, the one Roshan taker is in there. Okay. All right, guys. You guys want to beat Redeemer? She's gonna pick off Yase. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we see Yase on the map, we yeah, know we he's guy. always alone. Look at that guy. Okay, <laughs> let me draw the area. That, look at that. Oh, Redeemer, they know this. They smoked up. They're running towards their carry. They know their carry will yeah, not yeah. listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> so they go towards Get the top. And they find us. Oh, this is a big kill. Four average oh, commit. Ravage. Ravage. Ravage on two, or second still alive? He's healing up, he's healing up. Usmar still alive. Oh, the heal, the heal, the heal. gonna turn back. He dropped oh, the low ground. Oh no. Badly placed, they're gonna place on the uphill there. Would be much better. Oh, smoke on the tinies, trying to run away in the creeps, but unfortunately he's on the wrong That's side. That's a great terrible blade, well played. But here comes the Meepo, the Meepo's going to clean up. He should clean up everyone. And Wait, I want more! Ice puff, alright, alright. He's safe, he's safe. 
All right, I believe only one person should do the Someone... play by play. Oh, we talked like, about this Squall, already. Squall, only Squall do it, right? Shut the fuck up, dude. No, <laughs> I'm the translator. Shut the fuck up, dude. Like, you know you have to do the translator. You're the translator. Translate what? Translate your brain, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't like you, so he's not doing this, obviously. Alright, so. And he's dying to Roshan. <laughs> Is this a Yase play? <laughs> uh, he has a Vlad Tora now. He's, he's okay. Alright. They're gonna give it to the Meepo, obviously. No, la. It's interesting. Right. Meepo's going for a Halberd right now. It's pretty good oh, against the Huskar and, uh... and the Kong. Oh well, no, there's smoke the by the side of Radiant, so, so... it's not even worse now. I don't like the smoke because all they need to do is wait for Ravage, but I guess they're just, they're, they're just really, Arcane like... Power. I think they, they can do this because they're just really far. They're, like, they're time trialing this game. It's like, they need to be the timer or something. You know. Oh! Good blink. Oh, that, she oh. Oh. the free kill. Yeah, a different that kill. opens up a path towards high ground at mid. Nope, that should be a... Should be a tower. Well, the lanes are pushed, so they should be okay. There should be a tower at top, but redeemers out to look for blood right. because they have two wars they in their see, base. They, they see the Huskar. Oh, he thought that oh, he's gonna display, but no punishment. But they still do get a tower though. Now that die has backed out. Like, uh, you desperately need BKB on Haska so you can actually hit people. Now. You're not really considering his farm anymore at this point. That's true. <laughs> just lack of so much damage. Haska and Beastmaster is irrelevant this game already. Yeah. Irrelevant? He has. He, 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 I think he irrelevant. irrelevant. But if there was a chance, it would but, be now. That's oh, the only no, thing no, they can do. No they have to try. Stop. Cross back, Reve. And where's the boat? They need the oh, boat. Even the DM's down. There's no raw. The buybacks coming out. The tomb is dropped. Oh, oh boat completely boat. whiffed. Doesn't, doesn't even hit his team. No, it doesn't even hit his team. But they are going on the... They are going on the Meepo. No. X, Horrid. The Haskai is hitting. He's, he's killing, he's killing in Tide Hunter. Tai is the dead. Tiny is dead. Ursa should be going down too. Is this another oh, throw? Looking oh, 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 still oh. okay. Oh, the Kuka is getting chased down by the Meepo in the base. Meanwhile, oh, the Toggle. The toggle. Oh, 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 this is the king of the mid game. You you do not beat a meepo at 20 minutes in. You do not beat a meepo. Oh, BM spin. They say meepo. He's a right click hero. In your bottom, radiant structures are fortified. And he's not taking the racks. He's bringing his meepos out for some reason. It's a nice eye shot. Uh, nice attempt, but unfortunately he was already hitting the rack, so it didn't bounce in in far. They're looking to defend the second racks. They know they're not complete. They, should, they will defend second racks. Smokes Kunkar. He's gonna try and catch the. Oh, but Beastmaster? Well, didn't go Horror, for the pass. No. Not a lot of damage on Kuka. Alright, alright, they need to, they need to catch this damage that here. That they... they need to cut him here. Alright, raw on the Tiny. Tiny's Punch. not dead yet. Alright, Tiny went down with the... Try to control oh, the Meepo. meepo. They're, they're all burning the Macro Fire. The Tomb's down, but I, I, unfortunately it's just going to die. You need, you do need to place the Tomb a little further away. Alright, Haska oh, ran in. He's very brave. He gets netted and he's down. This is pretty much game. This is they this should stop. be game. This should be game. This is two Raxes. Yo, fire recap. Yeah. We're, we're just going for the. We're just going for the. Yeah, we're gonna try. Try. All right, the tide is throwing off now, and ravage on the fountain. Typical. It's a good ravage to hold them back. 
well played by Pub Trash. <laughs> it's a and zoning Whitley. ravage. Unfortunately, and GG is called. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope to see you guys next time. Oh my god. <sighs> and someone is going to plug his Facebook. <laughs> Alright. Go to Torino. Shorty D Wish win 28k net really 21 minute game. So let's talk about that game. Let's have some post analysis right here. So first of all, Jeremy what went wrong? The shit out of them. What went I mean, wrong here, Polar? Shut the fuck up, Squall, you're not helping. What <laughs> went wrong? <laughs> Alright. They picked they picked on un undying when they saw the Tide Hunter and the Tiny. But the Undying wasn't in that lane. He was, for some reason, against the Ursa. The Tusk should be there uh, to help out the Beastmaster, but instead it wasn't Undying, and then they just kept on feeding. And then the Tusk, his build, he didn't get tag team at all. The tag team is what makes us strong. He got shards level 2, and then snowball. What is that gonna do for you? Alright, so so polar bear saying questionable leaning setups, questionable skills were leveled early on. I actually believe Polar had the chance because they're gonna hit their stride really early with this Hushkar Konka Tusk B Smasher on dying. It's uh once everyone's level nine, they're online. So I would say though the the tomb placement was were, were quite bad throughout the game. They were mostly placed right in front of me, so he could just yeah, down the yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't last very long at all. So and MVP of that is... game, I guess stats wise, Yashi would have been MVP, but then we're biased, <laughs> so we're not gonna give it to Yashi. He did Let's get a free lane though. I mean, MVP is an MVP, so you know. So who had the most impact in this Redeemer's team? I it's think the tide equally... hunter that wins so you hard the, in the bottom the tide or the... Oh, sorry, actually, I want to say. Uh, either, for me, it's either the Ors or the Jakiro because... Uh, as much as Son Son or Pub Trash outplayed top lane, uh, it was more of the toss inability to hold that lane because of, you know, not having... Uh, what do you call that? Tag team. Really. Didn't have tag, a tag team. team yeah. trade with the enemy. Yes. Yeah. So I guess that's it. Uh, let's see how bottom and the bottom will adjust for game two. So that will be in ten minutes from now. Uh, meanwhile, let's see if redeemers can use this momentum to win game two. Uh, so is that all? Is that all? Everyone else. Yeah. Mirai, translate. Yeah, let's take a break. Huh? See you all in 10 minutes. Alright, so we're taking a break. Maybe someone else might cast, you know, we might get fired after this. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're getting fired. I, okay, okay, so this is uh, Pacific Crest from Omega Pi. Oh my god. That's right. Oh my god, no. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna. Fired now. I'm not gonna plug my Facebook. That's what you're I'm gonna thinking. report you to the mods for anyways, yourself. Anyways, so that's me, Polar Bear from Omega Pi, Mirai from Omega Pi, then Squall, who got banned recently. From that's SQ right. Gaming. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> alright. So that's all for us. See you guys later.